All right, let's see. We're alive. We have good stream health. All right. There we go. All right. Predictably, more Cosmic Star Hero, because I, I'm digging this game. I mean, the boy games tend to be that way from the ones I've played, but still, you know, I'm, I'm digging this. Oh. Mouse cursor go away. All right. So, uh, that's right. We have... You can choose a party. That site actually... Actually, let me double check to make sure I was correct. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have... One, two, three, four, five, six... Yep, okay. So we do have... I was correct on that. Because, of course, uh, Lissa is stuck in the party, though I would have kept her in there anyway, because she's the main character. You know, she deserves to be in the party. So... Cool, let's trip over our own headset. That's good. Alright, so... 3D6. Figure if I'm not going to choose a party for myself, I'll, I'll do what I enjoy. Figure out the part you have the game, or in this case, the luck of the draw, or the roll, I guess, and whatever. Decide for me, and well, figure out, you know, synergies and all that that way. Right, devils, not doing me any good. Try that again. Triple, triple one. Yeah, no, no, no. That that is it. Two, six, three, okay. Uh, wait. Okay. I'm going to presume... Okay, so actually, let's... There we go, okay. So yeah, they are seemingly in the order they joined. Going upwards, it looks like. Because yeah, if we do Sue... Okay, so, 261, so that is, or 236, so that's going to be 3, let's see, your 4, 5, Those are the most recent to join. So then from here we have John, Lauren, Sue. Okay, we'll just go in the order they join the party. So that's going to be Dave. After him was Sue. And then six is well Arte, since she was the last one to join. Alright, cool. So we have a party. Uh let's take a look at our abilities. Let's see. So Dave. I mean, it seems like we're probably buffer zone. Ah, so I'm going to guess that is not an active ability. Or no, okay, that is an active ability, okay. All right. So let's see. Inflicts vulnerable, 150% chance. Ooh. Increases cunning for three turns, which boosts his chance of inflicting ailments. Bandwidth buff increases program effectiveness, which... Uh, let's see, well, let's start. We'll keep her with the hero one. Ah. Uh, honestly. Healing, nah. Mm, nah. Uh, that's probably not gonna do as much good anyway. Cleanse, Aqua Blade, Seawall. Nah. Breather and Heal Wave. Reduce damage to the next party and the next attack overall. Yeah. <laughs> we can't do the. We can't get black hole. Heavy pierce damage. Chance of being targeted, defense up, strong defend. Yeah. Inspire, prepare, delegate.
Okay, so if we want to adjust other people's equipment, that's fine, okay. Actually, I'll just keep that, because that just fits her way too well. Where's the other one? That's, cause, yeah, that, okay. I don't know, party. Do you have a party? Dave. Uh, yeah, Dave Sue, that's right, Dave Sue and uh, RTA. Okay. And I think, because he just has some really good haptitude there. Programs are more effective. Then again, Void Bullet and Void Blast. Having heavy damage options that don't really have. Compare that against Techno Mage. Ah, see, unfortunately, we don't know the damage value. Because this one, we can do the different types, and his Hacktitude is actually, I think, higher than anybody else's. Yeah, because he's got 46. Okay. Ah. Uh, as for his, I think him being the party tank, so hide won't do much good. Uh, uh, solid stance and block will probably be useful for him. Actually, wait, her hacktitude, her hacktitude is better than Dave's, so yeah. And since her normal ability set is yeah, not very offense focused, so she doesn't even have a full cat, uh, full set of abilities yet. Having her, where is Techno Mage? Yeah, that'll give her some just normal abilities, and yeah, that boosts her haptitude even better. Okay, and increases physique. Viral hacks are more effective. Haptitude plus three. Ailment boost versus robotic enemies. Huh. <laughs> Still have made from, recy from recycled hipsters. And viral hack can be such a crapshoot, though. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll keep the sleek specs for the moment. And the shock head. Yeah, because we're going to focus him. Him focus. He'll just be an ailment bot, basically. Okay. Powers combined. Cunning plus three. Water up, yeah. Water up. Spark plus five. Of course, the... You know, we should sell off the makeshift bow. There's no special abilities to it. Okay. So keep that just because of its raw damp or its raw power. Alright, so abilities. So we're actually going to... Grind is probably going to be good, because then we boost, although it doesn't go past... Style. After 100% more style doesn't boost your power unless it's a burst ability. Burst abilities use up all your style for big effects. Okay. So yeah, so... That can work in his favor to just boost... Oh wait, no. Abilities. There we go, that's what I wanted. Alright, so have grind... You know what? It's worth having on there just to be on the safe side. Let's see, we've got rust and damage. Flicks and raid, which lowers yeah, area attack damage and all damage received taunts. So that could be useful. Stun, of course, always useful. Restoring HP, you could have that on hand. So after that, we got charm. And we've got the charm boost on there. So yeah, that's it's such a low chance of charm, though. Hmm. He's cunning for three turns. Yeah. And it boosts it by 60%. It's actually pretty notable. Hmm. Inflicts breach. Yo, 150 versus. 
That only heals 80%. So this is better for healing. But we're going to have a focused tank. Yeah. And then inflicts vulnerable. And then let's You have the hacktitude. Because mostly it's his cunning that we need. So having a better stat, even if we aren't using the charm, is going to be useful. Alright. Next character. He's going to be tank and just face punchy dude. Uh, damage and inflicts won't. So I think we should probably focus on damage for him. Yeah, combo. That's. Faint. Yeah, can reuse and boost damage with the next attack. Uppercut. Let's see, what did we have? Face punch, inflicts disarm, 75%. Extra style if enemies defeated. You're not super into that. Mm, that could be useful, but yeah, we'll leave it alone for the moment. Showboat. Mm. Counterattack when hit. That could be useful if we're going to be using it as a tank. Combo. So yeah, really... Ground Slam, and if we get rid of... Oh. Ground Slam. Yeah, Showboat, Bolo Punch, and Face Punch are the only one. Actually, wait, why is... We should have Face Punch on there. Uh... Actually, no. No, no, no. We should pop that there. With Bolo Punch, but Face Punch is useful. So below the belt... Face punch, inappropriate positioning. Combo, and then where are you? Ground slam, so we have something to deal with multi target. Taunt, our charge won't likely be targeted by enemies, gain style when hit. Inflicts disarm on a target. Hmm. But if we want to use him as a tank, honestly that taunt is going to be, she doesn't really have, she has everything equipped that she can right now. So you, Alyssa, how do we want to, there we got. Pacifism smash, or pacifist, pacifist smash is actually, let's pop that there. So, yeah, actually with the pierce, that doesn't really make much sense to have too much there. So I might actually go with knockout there. So give her some healing. That's 150. Multi-targeting doesn't seem... Recharge abilities, gain some style, or heal the party whenever she defends. Yeah. Okay. So last thing. Given this party, having health regeneration might be useful. Because we don't have a lot of healing going on. Cutting plus 15. That'll really help out Dave and... Actually, pretty much, yeah, Dave. Because, yeah, I forget. I didn't mess with Artea's abilities because they're just, we can't make much choice. There'd be out. Yeah. the drone, which is an ice attack. 
Uh, next item use a double strength. Eh. Damage ignores defense. Come back to a drone ability now. Heavy damage robotic. Burst. Boost next drone activation. So yeah. That literally is only going to affect Dave. Though it will make things a lot better. Ailment resistance. Physique plus five. Given we're putting a lot of emphasis on Alyssa's phys or physical damage and Sue is just a physical tank, that could be useful. Nah. Spark, we don't really have a lot to use for that. Desperation damage, slight speed bonus. Thinking the regeneration or the physique plus five. Yeah, let's go with regeneration. Those mansions is lost work us to get there. We need to go to the underground city. Okay, yeah, we could do that to advance the plot, but there's a side cave here. Side objectors are always far more interesting. Alright, where's everybody else at? Come on, guys. There you go. Alright, so what do we have here? Speedy, but weak. Weak to fire. Goblin's final form. 2500 HP. Weak to water. Alright. Yeah, boost damage from one ally for three turns. We'll just throw that on Sue, because he's going to be our main damage dealer. Let's see. Vulnerable... Boost of the max HP. Yeah, we'll save that for a bit later. Let's see what uh, Enviro Hack does here. Ah, multi target heal. Very nice. Of course, first turn, she's going to throw out a drone. Alright. Physical damage up. That's yeah, not going to hit multi target any of them. Counterattack when hit. And watch that the enemies promptly don't hit him. Bunch! Alright. Oh wow, those frogs get a lot of turns. Cool. Oh yeah, that's some good damage there. Alrighty. So let's see. Honestly, with the amount of damage we've done to it already, it probably is going to be more beneficial to enrage one of the goblins and have Sue focus on them. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Probably gonna be a killing blow here, so we'll do just normal physical bolt strike. There we go. All right, Dave. Knock him out of the map. Cool. Uh, oh wait, that's right. Yeah, she has a fire ability, doesn't she? I kind of I I forget about the shields and programs and all that. Okay, yeah, this this is working. This is actually working. I beam, beam attack ignores defense. So can we have multiple drones out at a time? I guess we'll learn in the next fight. A utility belt. This accessory for Arate improves her item effectiveness. Why are they so focused on items with her? I'm gonna keep the hacktitude bonus. Secret compartments for everything. Okay, that makes sense. And actually, thinking about items. We got the mist. I'm gonna inflict vulnerable. One ally, so it just prevents one attack. And boost style. Stores HP. Good to have him take just up. Oops, but we need something now. 
increase allies' main stats for three turns. Restores HP and taunts. Hmm, that actually could be useful. Target gets an extra turn. That could be useful. They got the poison mist, the buffs. You know what? Yeah, there we go. Alright. By managing aggro, we can use a proper tank in the party. Alright. Hmm. Alright. What do we got here? I mean, we obviously got the goblin. But yeah, those things attack a lot. Holy butts. Alright. Salamander actually swims through a rock. Weak to wind. We have nothing that deals with wind well. Okay. So. Uh, Target gets an extra turn. Which we are going to use to set up counter. Dave, you enrage the frog. Or the goblin. Sorry, it's a, it's a frog. I don't know why they call it a goblin. Alright. Ice attack. That seems like it could be more useful in the moment. We'll keep the frog since... He attacks so often, we'll just use his speed against him to kill him. He's actually not that much... Um, that much weaker output or damage output wise compared to everybody else. Alright. High damage but unable to defeat enemies. And then let's see. Foot's vulnerable. We can boost his style. Uh, I want to keep that for if health starts getting too low. I want to save. Actually, I want to save that for when it says hyper turn. But for the moment, actually, no, 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 no. no. So we'll wipe that thing off the face of the map with it on his hyper turn. So let's see what this does. Yeah, do some damage. And let's see what happens. Nope! Okay, only one drone at a time. Good to know. Um, looks like that's going to hit both of them. So yeah, let's do that. Let's actually buff Dave. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, so we're not gonna play with the uh, drones anymore. Let's actually, yeah, we don't have anything wind related. Yeah, boy, near Yashra, why not? Haha. <laughs> All right. Uppercut! Oh, dang, that hurt. All righty. Stun plus vulnerable, sure, why not? Yes! Ha <laughs> Alright, well actually After what happened. Dave's burst. Sue burst. Physical attack. Arte burst. Heavy damage to all enemies. Oh, what the hell. This is going to be so much overkill, but let's do this. 
Yep, that was unnecessary, but that looked cool. <laughs> I just said it might be like just weird painting in the like black void area, but I'm sorry, it looks like there's something over there. Oh, yep, time to save. I think it is time to save, uh, definitely. All right. There we have a hobgoblin, a fish, and a giant lamprey robot. What the hell is that? Oh, I say not you're not triggering a fight. What? Okay. Okay. So yeah, hobgoblin, salamander, worm. One bite, one kill. Weak to ice and thunder. Okay. Well, we know which drone we're gonna be using. Then I'm pretty sure. All right. So how do we want to handle this? Yeah, he doesn't have... So I'm guessing that's one of those... So poison's not going to do much good against him, because poison only hurts when it's their turn. So... Uh, let's see, yeah, the Hobgoblin will focus on that. So delegate to Sue, so that he can set up counter. Troll the Hobgoblin. And keep him fighting Sue. So we can start stacking some damage there. Actually, in hindsight, I probably should have done it to the salamander. Oh well. Your recharge will then enrage the... what's it called? Alright. Let's see, and so she's got... What was it you were weak against? Ice and Thunder. Alright. And then let's see. That's not going to hit both of them, so no point in doing that. Alrighty, let's see. Dave's hurting a little bit. Or not Dave, uh, Sue's hurting a little bit. But... Actually... I'll poison you. And then his hyper turn. Which probably just wasted poisoning his thing, but oh well. Okay, no, but it'll probably die on its next turn. So then let's see... There we go. All right. So there's really only one thing to do at this point. As much damage as we can to this thing. Woo! I'm kidding about one bite, one kill. All right. And he's still not fully alive. Cool, now that's fine. Alright. That doesn't really store so much HP, but okay. And let's see. Of course, he's probably not going to survive to be able to counter, but... Uh, keep the heat on somebody specifically. And actually, yes. Because Vulnerable won't wear off until its next turn. So all damage we deal until that thing gets to act. Vulnerable, yes. Uh, we don't need to, we already have Vulnerable on there. Rust won't do anything. Mm. See, since we already did stun on there. Yeah, stun, I mean, it takes so long for its turn, that kind of makes sense that stun wouldn't do much of anything. 
Okay, let's see what happens. That's still a lot of damage. Ah, so vulnerable only lasts for one attack. Good to know, good to know. Okay. So let's go with this arm then. All right, good to know. All right. So it just gets another turn before this. Not as good as the other void ability, but we still did it. And Sue only kind of died part way through. All right, Alyssa learned. Uh, oh wait. Dave got an ability, or not, uh, Sue got an ability. I didn't pay attention, what was that? Bum Rush. High damage, but lowers user's defense. Ooh. <clears throat> Honestly, Ground Slam, I'm not feeling it too much. So, yeah, there we go. Just a physical powerhouse. There we go, all right. And after a hidden boss fight, Flag Tie. This accessory for Sue adds disarm to his attacks. Ah, yes please. Oh, I know, it's the Physique plus three. Ooh. So that's actually pretty solid, because... Oh yeah, because that's Physique plus five. So, ah, let's take a look what it... So yeah, 46. So 51. Can you not have mult the bonuses stack? So yeah, you have that, that's plus three. So you can't stack stat bonuses apparently. So yeah, having the flag tie then it's no there's no point to the dad tie with the brass knuckles. So Wait, what? Yeah, that's 44. We do that, that's 49. If we do that, that... I am so confused right now. I am so confused. Okay, yeah, whatever. Having disarm on his attacks, though, it actually kind of makes it so... Uh, face punch is kind of redundant, then. Bolo punch, I uh, know. Showboat, no. I will keep it there because I'm not sure what to replace it with. But since if his normal ones are doing uh, disarm anyway, it doesn't do much good to, to have him with an ability, like specifically have an ability to like disarm. Unless we really need to disarm it anyway, I suppose. And like, you add the innate bonus, the innate disarm plus the just innate of that ability. Yes? I don't know. And then, was it over here? Yeah, new room move. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, just to walk up to the door. Okay. And then elevator down to an underground city. Welcome to New Romu, stranger. We like to play rough here, but you look like you can handle yourself. Haven't you ever seen an Altharian stretch their tentacles before? It's rude to stare, human. Come to Romu, the brochure said, and enjoy the beautiful beaches, the lush forests, and the friendly natives. This is the last time I'm basing my vacation plans on my grandfather's vintage brochure collection, I can tell you that. Why would you have, or anyone have a vintage brochure collection? This here's the wild, wild underground. New Romu might not be the best place, but it beats living in the waste. Okay, can't argue with that. Ours is a noble species, and yet some of us are some of us use our talents to raid and rob in this bowel or in this bowels of this planet. The grammar. What is grammar? <laughs> it's not uncommon for people to accidentally fall over the railing here if you catch my drift. The Dark One calls south of New Romu. 
Access denied. Verify A to terminal first to access. Okay. Weird. <laughs> and what's with the creepy bag man over here? The bag man glares threatening at, threateningly at you. Okay, so he just don't like us. Not gonna do anything though. All right. What about you, cyberbug? Simerex. Time has not been kind to this underground city. I am glad I live elsewhere. My usual residence. That would be the Simrix villains on the on the surface. Visitors are welcome, though infrequent. Okay. View map. Surface access. NR Saloon. Stakes Casino. Always Hotel and Sheriff's Department. Scanning ID. Age requirement met. Access Saloon and Casino granted. Cool. Like my new piece? Got it for a good price at Untamed Armaments in the eastern part of town. No one ever thanks Sweeper Robot for all its hard work, but if it wasn't for Sweeper Robot, the floor would be slightly more dirty. We're grateful for that. That looks like there was a person there, okay. Heard of the connoisseur? Wealthy collector of odd and rare tech. Whatever you do, don't cross him. I hear he's got ties to the mob and is not afraid of asking for favors. What you looking at, punk? You. Alright, so since we're Old West, the robot is now playing piano rather than DJing, like in the... What was it, the festival we saw that? Huff Puff. Alright. I used to jam with his old reg, Clark. He had a few short circuits, but he sure knew how to party. My tolerance for this stuff was higher when I was full, when I was fully corporeal, heck. <laughs> Wait, but how do you drink alcohol if you're a goat? You know, I'm not going to think too much about that. Watch your back around here, stranger. I used to work the Zen Zanzarin mines before it shut down. By shut down, I mean they dug too deep, unleashed an ancient evil, and everybody died. Glad I quit before then. The tunnels to Zanzarin is sealed off, but the entrance on the surface is still open. Not that anyone has any business going there. I'm having no luck today. I should check out the game room upstairs. Oh, and it actually does say. So I'm curious, where was that spot? There was a robot that used to hang out here. Really weird guy, always trying to pick up chicks, robot and otherwise. This place was a real drag before the mob took over. Now it's a blast, sometimes literally. I don't know how I feel about that. When customers forget to pay, I forget to be nice, and when that happens, it's vaporizing time. Ooh, okay, pair tab, good to know. I'm starting to think this isn't the best place to meet new people. I think you're on the right track with that. Hello cards are fine and all, but I miss that tactile feedback. Currently analyzing deck probability matrix. I don't think I like playing cards against an advanced AI. Okay, so I want to check something really quickly with the world map. Where was I that we fought that giant worm? And they mentioned like a mine that, you know, they unleash an ancient evil. And another guy's saying there's an ancient evil to the south of here. Because I'm thinking of like the stuff that was on the world map, there wasn't really anything. Okay, yeah, now we're just planet Romu. Enter. Cave. Okay. Yeah, that was that was useful. You can't go any farther south unless to those trees. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. And yeah, there's Los Rocas over there, which we have to go through New Romu to get to, and there's nowhere else. Okay. I don't know what those people were talking about then. Then again, maybe there's like other areas since you have Los Rocas we can get to from the other side, maybe there's other entrances into there. I don't know. Okay. I, I like that. Birth of Death 15 and Cthulhu Saves the World 7. I've loved this game ever since I was a little kid. Yeah, good taste, dude. Actually, you'd be playing the Breath of Death 15 if you had good taste, but, you know, Cthulhu Saves the World wasn't... Actually, I kind of... I mostly was a dungeon design on that one. I just... It felt too lengthy and meandering in a lot of the dungeons with really high encounter rates. Like, okay, get all the encounters out of the way before you just aimlessly wander around in the dungeon. It wasn't... It just... I don't know. Something with dungeon design didn't sit right with me. Sorry, I can only talk to bounty hunters. Okay. I'm gonna win this, I just know it. We have a similar game on my homeworld, except we use cubes and the tables in another dimension. That sounds unnecessarily complicated. 
But I bet a ton of credits that I'd win this round. Goddess, don't fail me now. I might own that to buy a new blaster shot ZX from Untamed Armaments in the East District with the winnings. This guy's not bad, but I've played against pro Skimarx players. I've got this. After losing a week's wages at the casino, I like to come here and be miserable. I really need to rethink my life. Just maybe, dude. Sometimes when I see somebody go out on the balcony, I like to sneak up behind them and push them off. I should never do that. I would never do that to you, though. Do you have a strange idea of fun, lady? I'm, I'm gonna put a lot of distance between me and you. You'd never catch me setting foot in one of the casinos around here. Crooked the lot of them. Actually, wait. Because it was... Map. Okay, so yeah, we have to go down to the lower section. Okay, then we'll keep going this way. They say these casinos are all owned by the mob. I believe it. I hear the connoisseurs throwing the party to end all parties. I'd attend, but who am I kidding? I don't even have the money for transportation, much less much the status needed to get an invite. The sheriff's a good man, but he's fighting a losing battle. The mob runs New Romo and Las Rocas. Halt, citizen. The passage to Las Rocas is off limits to everyone without a pass from the sheriff. Alright, so what do we have to do for the sheriff, then? Double your money at the New Romo Casino. The sheriff set up some new security measures to try to cut down on crime. Like walking to Las Rocas now? That requires a special permit from the sheriff's office. The sheriff set up some... Okay, wait. So... Okay, so you say that... The abandoned Zanzaran mines west of here are a little ghost town. Ghost town, sure, but a wraith can, but a wraith conjured up by the echoes of dead men's fears? I find that hard to believe. Uh, west would be... Okay, so he just says the same thing. Alright, cool. If anyone tries to leave stakes without paying, I make sure they're dealt with. The owner hasn't been paying our salaries on time. I'd quit, but I'm worried he'll, what he'll do to me. <laughs> I mean, if it's run by the mob, that's a reasonable fear. Rumor has it that Enzo is in cahoots with the mafia thugs that run this casino. He's eccentric, sure, but, he but I doubt he's that evil. I swear I'd better luck the Los Rocas Casino Grande. Come on, come on, jackpot. So do we actually get to do any gambling? I'm so close to the jackpot I can taste it. Just one more game. They hired me to provide ambience. Humid, smoky ambience. Having been in casinos, yeah, that is a thing. I think it's mostly just because you can smoke in there and they, they don't stop you. So that contributes to it. I don't know. Our tables are programmed with only the fairest odds. Gentlebots make superior table hosts. Curses, I fold. Hello cards make cheating a lot harder. I should know. I'm an expert. <laughs> Shh, I'm trying to focus. I saw one woman run out of the art gallery the other day carrying something. I think she's staying at the hotel. No, I, I was running to look at the computers. Not that I can. There's a game currently in progress. Please, no interruptions. I like. I feel like everyone's watching and recording my every movement here. It's creepy. My understanding, that's how casinos work, so that seems reasonable. I lost again? Here, take this. That guy I won it off of the other day said it was good luck, but it's anything but. You got an unlucky coin. Or is it a lucky coin? Who knows? Is that like literally an item that we got? Or is that just like a, a thing? Okay. I, I play conservatively. Small winnings, but if you lose, nobody comes to shoot you in the middle of the night. Sounds like a reasonable plan to me. All right, looks like there's no actual gambling to be had, so take a look over here. My luck just hasn't been the same since I lost my lucky coin in a game of Stakes Casino. I'd give anything to have it back, well, almost anything. Is this yours? My lucky coin, you found it. I can't thank you enough. It's not much, but here, I have this voucher for a free outfit at the general store. Don't ask me how I got it. You got an outfit voucher card. That's arbitrary. Are you the connoisseur? No, oh, yeah, we already talked to you. I'm just performing some routine maintenance here. Water and air system, they're all A-OK. -okay. Yeah, weather report. 46 degrees Celsius, cloudy with a chance of acid rain. Hot and stale every day. 31 degrees Cel or Service weather. New Roma weather. 31 degrees Celsius, hot and stale every day. Isotopic radiation at safe levels. Check the news. Officials are investigating potential criminal activity at Los Rocos Casino Grande. Is the mafia involved? 
Traffic. The tunnel system south of New Romo continues to be raided by bandits. Travel restricted. Only personnel authorized by the sheriff may pass. Alright. Be sure to stay at the Oasis Hotel, the finest establishment in all of New Romo. At least that's what I would say if all the rooms weren't already booked. It's been hard finding work since the mines were shut down, but at least I didn't lose my mind in those haunted mine shafts. Oh. New map. Now oh, there's a museum. Weapon shop, general store, some housing. Alright, let's stick on this side of town for the moment. Let's see what's happening around the... Okay, yeah, no, that's... We can't go to the path. This is the sheriff's office. If you're an upright citizen, you have nothing to fear. Scan ID and sheriff's seal for temporary access. Scanning. <laughs> Everyone's on edge after hearing about the terrorist attacks on Arayanu. Can you imagine what we'd do if there was an attack on our water system? Nothing. We'd all die. So, I'm guessing this is... The subway isn't working. Curse this horrible town. Okay, that's probably the same. We're here to protect and serve, but stay on your guard. We can't be everywhere. Okay, so that's Las Rocas. That way. And yeah, it just doesn't let us go. I finally made it back from Las Rocas. I was only ambushed by bandits and monsters six times. Lucky me! <laughs> the tunnels to the mines were closed off after operations that had too many mysterious deaths and suicides. The place is probably ripe for looting, but no treasure on Earth would convince me to risk it. Eh, I'm looking for some fights. Actually, before we do that, let's actually take a look in the eastern part of town, since there's a weapon shop there. Be sure to visit our lovely general store for equipment and supplies. Not just anybody can be a bounty hunter. It's not just a job. It's a way of life. I haven't seen my friend Johnny in ages. I hope he's okay. Those weirdos he's been hanging out around lately rubbed me the wrong way. I came here to pick up my prescription, but I'd like to check out the weird knickknacks for sale while I'm here. The store gave out vouchers for free outfits from the ta or from Taylorbot not long ago. I wonder if anyone in town still has one. Your Taylorbot? I am Taylorbot. I need an outfit for the connoisseur's party. Analyzing. I have such an outfit that will be 9,000 credits unless you have a free clothing voucher. I have a voucher. Voucher verified. Woo! We got a party dress. And what do we have here? Steel and Rebel. We already have those. So not much use on that one. These younglings don't remember when people used to live on the surface. You never know how precious something is until you lost it. Report any suspicious activity to the, fair, to the sheriff's department, citizen. Uh, let's see. Sitting by this beautiful fountain, you can almost forget that we're miles under the surface. Where is he? It's not like him to be late. I'm selling cigars to help the orphans. It's not going well. I keep using up the merchandise. <laughs> I can't stand those skimrick cyborg bugs. Just want to squash them, watch them every time I see one. That's specious. Racist? Specious. Specious. Groff used to lead a group of thugs around here. I wonder if they've regrouped since he's take, been taken out. Skimricks have been showing up more and more in New Romu. They used to keep to themselves on the surface. Word is that their hive got invaded. Maybe they're looking to move down here where it's safer. I mean, if, there was a, if their hive was invaded, I wouldn't blame them. Sounds like they might not be getting much love down here, though. Enzo used to live here until he moved to Las Rocas. Sold this place for a pittance. Tax scheme, you see. Alright. Uh, ah, welcome to New Romu. View shopping, view shopping options. Untamed armaments, data pads, blasters, bows, and more. Get armed before you face the wild. And our general store. Don't miss out, and miss out, or miss our new tailor bot. And get size for the new for your new fancy suit or dress today. Buy a fashionable shield to match. Enzo's gallery. Visit the museum nearby. Marvel at inspiring works from across the Zabani system. Los Rocas map. Okay, so we've got those. There's the path. Subway station, but that's not working. There's a tunnel system. Los Rocas surface access. Uh, another subway station. Grand Casino. Be amazed by Los Rocas Casino Grande. Bring your wallet and you're locked into the largest and most glamorous casino this side of Romu's subsurface and win big. 
the dirt talk to you? In Romo, everybody needs a good weapon, and what better place to buy one than untamed armaments? You can never be too well armed in New Romu, but you don't but don't neglect your shield either. The mob rules the underground, and it's all underground down here. <laughs> Everybody needs a new gun here on new Ro in New Romu. Such a dangerous place. <sighs> okay, I need to check on something. That girl there. That I think is a reference to something. Uh... There we go. I don't have tag pull. Okay. Zeboid Games does just like random mock-ups of like fake games. It, like they've done that for very or for the yeah, April Fools on various years. And let's see. And one year they did like a Wild Arms knockoff for that, and I'm pretty sure that girl was the, well, the only character they showed because it wasn't really a thing. It just, like, made up a thing. Alright, well, I can't find it. But just given the line and given the style, it, it just, it I feel like they're referencing that, except I can't find the thing to confirm it. But, I mean, I probably could dig more and try and find it, but I, I'm feeling lazy. Let's see, shield staff. Ooh, defend plus 20, stats plus 5. Flex even the deadliest attack. Shield pad. Reduce the damage from first hit taken. Nice. Grind ability also has defend 50% effect. Oh, yes, please. Gold Fist. HP plus 25. Cunning plus 5. Eh, it might be worth it. Venom Blades. Poison up. Big Gun. A physique up. Vial. Drink the tears of your enemies. Alright. No, need to equip. Yeah, the shield staff. That is just that is an awesome one right there. All right, so so 43, 44, 44. <sighs> it's the same stat bonus. So you can't use the same bonus, so a plus everything to stats and then a plus to a certain stat will stack, but plus to the same stat and plus or plus to stat one, plus to stat two will not stack. That's how it works. Okay. Cool. Okay. So charm up. Absorb and grinder. Uh, I'm sorry, that's just a really good option for him since mostly standing around, dropping buffs and all that. It, I feel like grind is gonna get a lot more use, so that's good. So I'm about to lose five physique for boosted HP and boosted cunning. It's a ten percent drop to physique, though. But it's an almost 
Actually, it's an almost 60 or 70% boost to just raw attack power. So, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't even pay attention to... It deflects even the deadliest attacks. Doubles is a good old-fashioned sealed. Actually, only gold-plated. And then Vile. Boost her haptitude, which is good, since we've got her as the... Uh, hack mage, whatever. Uh, drink the tears... Oh, yeah, I already read that one. All right. Nope. Yeah, you... You. Actually, no, we didn't get anything for Chan. Let's see, Fancy Cutlery. Spark and Cunning boosted versus Poison Up. Made from granite snake corpses. Alright. <sighs> that's a... Could be useful, but I don't know if I'm going to... That's a straight upgrade that... HP plus 20... Physique plus 10, so it loses a plus 20 to HP, which is a little less than 10%, so I'm not too upset. Particularly given the 30 point boost to attack power. A real gun for a real man! Yeah, we'll go with that for the moment. Probably play around with it if we actually put him in the party. But let's uh, go ahead and rearrange the party back to what it was. Dave, Sue, and Arte. Alright. Let's take a look in the hotel here really quickly. We're gonna grab a quick bite, then check out the new pieces at the art gallery. I'm sorry, but we're booked up for months, but for a small fee, we'd be happy to let you sleep on the curb outside. Make no guarantees on your safety out there. You might be mugged. In fact, you probably will be mugged. Okay, admittedly sleeping on the curb in a dangerous town. Yeah, that's kind of a given, but okay. I can't believe the hotel is all booked up. At least they let us rent out the lobby. <laughs> I miss having my own room. Living in a hotel lobby isn't so bad. At least room service is always nearby. Yum, this Romu coffee made from organic, locally grown, radioactively mutated beans is to die for. I'll pass, thank you. My robot's work is never done. The news is reporting a lot of mysterious Skimmerick's disappearances lately. I think they mentioned Nulup City having a similar problem. I wonder if they're connected. Maybe if I wait here long enough, a room will open up. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, buddy, but yeah, you, you do you. All right, let's go bother random uh, patrons of this hotel. That we can't actually. Hey, you. I don't even mind that my traveling companion is late coming back when I get to stay in such a nice room. Strange painting. Could you return that to the art gallery for me? I've already made copies. Okay, I'm like, is she even going to pay attention to the fact that we're just ganking her stuff right in front of her? Yes, she is, but she doesn't really care. Like, I, I, she's got her copies and can make her profit. Could you take that back to the museum for me? Something tells me, though, since it's a stolen piece of art, that might not work out well. Let's take the stolen piece of art and go talk to the sheriff. I'm sure that's not going to end badly. I'm just here to request access to the subway system. I just want to go to Las Rocas. Why does it have to be so difficult? My good-for-nothing husband is in jail for not paying off his casino debt. Serves him right, the loser. Sheriff's in back. You need to talk to him, but only important matters. He's very busy. The sheriff's in... Okay, he's in back. We already learned that. You look like a tough bunch. You should consider joining up as deputies. It's visiting hours, so talk to the inmates if you must. You've probably heard of me. Name's Ron, si or Ron Sinbel, the most brilliant engineer on New Romu. I had a bad streak at stakes, and now I'm stuck in the year. I hope you get me out. If you get me out, I'll make it up to you, I promise. They wouldn't even know how. The open door taunts me with the promise of escape, but if any prisoner sets foot across the threshold, zap. Okay, that's just a dead end. At least it should go, but apparently it doesn't. Alright, well, let's continue looking around town before we bother the uh, sheriff about letting us get to the neck where we're trying to go. Because we already got a fancy suit or a fancy dress and everything. You know, all dressed up with no place to go. That's phrase, that's phrase, I'm pretty sure. Okay, did we go in here? I can't go in there, so it doesn't matter. Cool, okay. So let's go to the museum then, I guess. Humans are such filthy creatures. Not gonna lie, you're, you're right on spot on there, buddy. Observe how the paradigm shift contrasts with the delightful verbiage of the hues and tones in this piece. 
Yeah, okay, sure. Please examine any piece you like. This art gallery is open freely to the public. I don't get it. Humans find these pictures attractive? I like to come here and just bask in the ambience. Alright. You look like a capable individual. That young woman recently stole one of our paintings. If you could retrieve it, I'd be quite grateful. Shouldn't you report this to the authorities? I would, but I don't want Lord Enzo to know that a painting was stolen on my watch. I've been informed that the young lady is staying at the New Rome Hotel. She had a rather strange aura about her, otherwise I'd go get it myself. Did you retrieve the painting? Here it is. Thank you. You may have just saved my job. Not much, but please take this invite to Lord Enzo's party. Ooh, we got a party invitation. We got a nice dress. And I don't foresee other than going to the Cursed Mine that there's much else we can do here. So I guess we'll go talk to the Sheriff now. Especially now, now that we're not carrying on a stolen painting. That seems like a much less terrible idea. Why is it, why if it isn't Elisa LaSalle? Please, yes, don't be surprised. It's my job to know everything that's going on in New Romu. I need a pass to get to Los Rocas. <laughs> Direct and to the point. I like it. You want to, you want to meet Enzo, the connoisseur, and I'd like you to have this meeting as well. I received intel that Enzo has been fraternizing with the mob, but I lack proof. I need someone to catch him in the act. I can obtain that proof for you. So I've heard. You've got quite the reputation. Take this. It will let you enter the tunnel between New Romu and Las Rocas. Woo! It will also it will also let you into the subway, but you're have if. But they're having trouble with the train right now. It'll be quicker to just walk. You'll need a party invitation to get into Enzo's mansion. I believe the art gallery received a few extra. You'll also need an appropriate outfit. The tailor bought the general store can provide one. Enzo puts on a good show, but he's a crafty one. Don't let your guard down. Alright. That went rather nicely. Alright. So... And let's see what's going on with the... Error. Access denied. Scan it. Oh. Okay, so he's, that's right. There was the little stations here. Alright, so I'm curious what's in the stop way. I've been, <laughs> I've been invited to Sorenzo's latest social gathering. Only Romo's finest will be in attendance. Where can you get a ticket? Try the art gallery. It's owned by Sorenzo, so maybe they have a few extra. The subway train is currently undergoing repairs. Thank you for your patience. I'm, have, I'm heading to Los Rocas to find my buddy. Last I heard him from, he said he'd found a way to hack the casino slots. I sure hope nothing bad has happened to him. You mess with the casinos, usually bad things happen to you. Contaminants detected. Super scrub and polish routine initiated. I've been traveling all over Zavani. Nellup was beautiful, but the locals are so distrustful of visitors lately. Sent gentle bot returning to Enzo Estate to assist with social events. Download all the latest small talk quips activated. Or download of the latest small talk quips activated. How about that weather we've been having? I mean, the computer mandated always the same weather, apparently, that happens here? I don't know. Alright. Uh, you know what? Against my better judgment, let's go take a look into the creepy mines. We got boosted weapons and all that. Not that much damage. Wild Utherlian. Weak to water. Fallen to insanity. High defense, but easily shell shocked. And weak to ice and earth. Okay. Return to him. Counter attack. Enrage. The cat. Sure. Piss off a cat. Isn't that a good plan? Nothing ter Nothing can go wrong with that. And then, since we got one thing that's weak to ice here, we'll go ahead and set up an ice drone. Oh wow, and that disarm actually has a really good... Alright. Uh... And then, let's see... Uh... 
Actually, wait. She has a water spell, doesn't she? I could have done much better on that turn. Boost his attack. Oh yeah, that was good. All right. Oh, <laughs> just one shot at that dude. Very nice. Very nice. All right. No new abilities learned for Arte, but a level up is still always good. I kind of hate the fact that like they give you the map, but you have to go to a certain thing to look at it. Like I can be like, okay, press a button to look at the map, so I can just like look around and like, oh wait, that's not a thing I can do. Okay, and it literally sealed off right there. Anything down this way? Yeah, looks like that's gonna be a path that uh, leads over to. Las Rocas, so the so a path that leads to the path. Ooh, bomb. Uh, Medium-sized area. Create a controlled explosion that may hit multiple enemies. Fire, 150% damage. Honestly, if only we've got enough options to hit with that. Let's just swap that out for the bomb. Actually, let's save. You feel a terrifying presence. You should turn back. Or at the very least, save your game. Let's see what I'm walking into here. Ah! Fearing heroes who think you can face me. The mighty Cthulhu. Ha! Your stupidity amuses me. But I could use a workout. If you keep me entertained, maybe I won't kill you. Okay. Yep, we're off to a great start. Cthulhu. Whoa! Oh, 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 we are fucked. Uh, can I? Okay, you can't pause and exit. All right, let's let's just play this out. And see what happens. Uh, spoiler warning: I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. Uh, what the hell? Actually, wait. Without Dave, the Sue can't probably can't survive it anyway. Uh, actually, no, because he's weak to water, so ignore defense. Haha! <laughs> uh, healing! Yes, please, now. Oh. Oh. Nope. Oh. Sue's about to die. That's cool. Yeah, it's got 100,000 HP. <laughs> we're, we're gonna be dead. <laughs> uh. Bomb rush him! I'm gonna die anyway! Yeah, we're screwed. Oh god, tentacles. That was... That was kind of an overpowered ability in what you let all I play. Like, multi-targeting and solid damage. That was a that was a really, really not fun to deal with attacking. Actually, well, no, being the one using it, but yeah, being on the uh, side of the, en or of the enemies. Yeah, no, that, that, no. I'm curious if she's dead. Nope, the drones. Nope, game over. We ain't doing that. We is not doing that. We do that later when we aren't like ridiculous. When he's not like ridiculous. Like enemies are starting to have you know regular encounters are starting to have like you know one two thousand eight or a couple thousand. He's got a hundred thousand. Like even bosses aren't into the. I don't think we've hit across anything with five digits. So the fact that he's got six digits. To spare of health. No, thank you. What the heck are you? Actually, that's the thing we fought on the when we commandeered the ship. Or, well, recall or whatever. Buffalo, buffalox. How resisted for their juicy meat? 
Admittedly, buffalo meat is awesome. I can get behind that. Sue, set up for your counter. Troll the buffalo thingy. And let's see, since he's weak to fire. We'll set up the drone that drone. See, it's weak to fire. Eh, pacifism fist! Um Complex vulnerable. You know what? Let's go for it. Heck yeah! Fire? Fire! Well, too silly to have set Sue up to properly tank in that fight when I just, just fucking killed the thing without even trying. Yeah, multiple targeting. Okay. Anything over here? It, it, don't get stuck on the rock. Actually, we'll fight these things, then we'll go look at the map again. See where the different side paths lead. Alright. Set up your counters. Enrage. That one. Bum rush! Heck yeah! Alright. And since this game doesn't do respawning of encounters, let's go take a quick look at the map. At least it seems at least it seems like when we've gone through different areas, it does do the uh what's it called? No, I don't want where's the map that was showing like the path? Is it or was it over in the east side of town, wasn't it? Yeah, it was over in the east side of town, I think. Or maybe... Yeah, I don't know why I was like, maybe did I miss a terminal there? There wasn't a terminal there, stop being crazy. Alright, check bounty. Notorious Bob Boss, Jane Black Eye Hackett. Immediately contact... okay. That's probably going to be relevant at some point. Was it you? Lost Rokos route map. So yeah, so it goes... So the split. So we probably want to take that split since the other side... And I think we explored the other side. Okay, cool. Alright. And yeah, and we stay dead. Okay. That's what I was thinking, but... I hadn't really done it, or hadn't really been in a situation to test that, or where we could test it. Because, like, everything up to this point has been pretty forward movement without a lot of room to explore with a, well, I guess technically to have a brief moment we could explore the Romu surface. Or not Romu, uh, Erenu, I think that was the name of the town. Okay, you've got... Honestly, setting Sue up to, I don't know. Um, yeah, but none of them are really big damage sponges, so... Um, these are robots though, so Dave does have hmm, a good option to use on him. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Hmm, solid defense, alright, cool. Uh, yeah, looks rust. Alright, and then, you know, uh, yeah, ice, so we'll go with the freeze ray, 
And... Maybe I do want to tank this, actually. the crab tank. Oh wait, shit, didn't set up my uh, counter-attack. There we go. you off the map. There we go. All right. Uh, that the hell that's so vulnerable. Actually, wait, and then do this. Oh, they weren't getting about big damage to robots. All right. And so then this path here. Just seem. Oh wait, treasure chest. Ooh, fifteen thousand credits. I mean, we've got ridiculous amounts of money already, so not a super big deal. But like, money's always useful. It looks like a bandit in one of those buffalox things. Or some bandits, rather. Let's see, weak to water and electricity. It's grasp on the first law, maybe shaky. <laughs> oh, it's a robot. Okay. As I say, I don't get the first law of robotics. Okay, Asimov, right. Okay. I got it. So, weak to water and thunder. And then you. Honestly, it's probably better to tank for him to tank one of those. So, Sue. Set up your counter. Troll that robot. And honestly, yeah, none of you are weak to ice, so probably better to go with the I beam. Keep your eyes on me, buddy. Or keep your eyes on Sue, rather. Actually, or the same thing it did in the cave. Up, oh, defense up. Okay, that actually is useful. Yeah. And then he'll actually just keep attacking Sue since Sue was the last one to attack him. So. Oh sure, what the hell. There we go. Void Blast. Alright. Let's see. Uh, what should we do with you? Uh, nah. Actually, wait. Dismantle. Yeah, that's a good plan. 
There we go. All right, let's see. Bum rush. Oh. Okay, so counterattack apparently has a turn limit. I need to look at that in the ability description and see how long that is. Actually, no, because we don't. We have to defend before we can set it back up. Stun and vulnerable. Very nice. System crash. We might as well. Kind of late to do rust on this dude, but sure, why not? Yeah, we could wait till the next turn to like guarantee the kill, but that was just punch this dude. There we go. All right. No, no abilities. Cheat code. Next move deals more damage. Okay. That could be useful for Dave. Except now we don't have him doing damage, so it doesn't. It really doesn't help us much. Duration nine turns. Okay. So that nine times of him doing it, or nine of his own turns? I have to experiment with that, I suppose. And I'm guessing this leads us... Yeah, this path, okay. Hmm. Uh, just loops back to there, okay. Rokas. Get some more of those Robo Bandits there. Only two of them, though. That shouldn't be too hard to deal with. I guess that leads to something. Alright. Hmm. So how do I want to proceed on this? Set it up. This way we can experiment what nine turns specifically means. And. Long Rage will troll that robot. Okay, that's one turn. Actually, yeah, I want to do ice. Seven turns.
Uh. All right. I didn't even get to nine turns on the most generous count of turns for that, so I didn't get to test my theory, unfortunately. Protama. Ah, increases her defense capabilities. All right. So let's swap her in really quickly. Yeah, heal. That's right, she had Poison Main, that was where it was. I was for some reason thinking the Singer had that. Protama, for the professional gunmancer. Defend plus 15. And... Not a super big kike, but she never was... I never used her much for healing anyway, so... Oh wait, no. You did a bit. Aha, you almost, tre you almost tricked me, game. Do something stupid. The stream health suddenly go to pot. What's happening? Oh, weird. Alright, let's take care of these uh, robots here. Shouldn't be anything that we'll be using. Alright. So, I'll do ignore defense. So that's two turns. Three turns. Assume it's ooh. I didn't think it did more damage. Yeah. All right. Now let's see. Ah. I mean, that's not too big of a problem. There we go. All right. And so that, given the way the map was laid out, this is probably Los Rocas, and then that way is the casino. Oh, I know this is just a door. Okay. An accessory Lauren makes her poison more deadly. Really likes the really wants her doing poison, doesn't it? Okay. I'm guessing is at the subway station. Enjoy <laughs> your time here and don't cause any trouble. I'm just here to make sure no one accidentally wanders into the tunnels. They're dangerous. And we can't do anything at that computer. Alright, well, since we made it to here... Oh, and I was about to say, yeah, let's take a moment to look... Oh, no, now this dream health is back to being green. So I'm looking at the KBS rate, it's... Not too different, I think I wasn't paying too much attention. I think it was 2000... Yeah, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Greetings from Enzo the Connoisseur. Okay, so that's probably where we're going to want to go to advance the plot. I'll never get an invite to one of Enzo's big parties. Enzo's gala will begin shortly. If you want to attend, I'll need to check your invitation. Not yet. Gentlebot greets you warmly to Los Rocas. On first glance, the Casino Grande appears to be the prize jewel of Las Rocas. But if you get the sneaking suspicion there's something sinister going on to the surface, you hear stories, bad stories. 
or I probably missed. I probably misread what she said. Welcome to Las Rocas Casino Grand or Casino Grande, where you play big to win big. That's usually how gambling works. Skirmex disappearances, Nolupian abductions. How long until people start to vanish before around these parts? Reasonable question. Don't have an answer for you, buddy. Waiting for a friend. Glad she did the smart thing and took the subway rather than brave the tunnels. Can't you see I'm busy reading? I'm so glad the subway is working again. It's too dangerous to travel New Romo on foot. Don't tell anyone you saw me here. I'm playing hooky. <laughs> Want to travel to New Romo in speed and comfort? You're in the right place. Let's see what happens. I'll just... Okay. Really not a lot in this town, is there? All right, well, let's take a look at the casino first. The casino is temporarily closed. Okay, never mind. We won't look at the casino. I guess we'll go attend the party. There's really nothing else we can do right now. Let's go try our luck against Cthulhu again. That that went great the last time, right? Oh yeah, talk to this guy. Show the invite. Not a forgery. Your invitation looks to be in order. This invitation only permits one person to enter. That won't be a problem. Later that night. Ah, uh, let's say, does it change your status portrait? Nope. She looks good. Greetings, miss. Only top-notch quality people such as yourself are allowed to intend those galas. Enjoy some fine beverages and make yourself at home. They call Enzo the connoisseur for his fine taste in all things. I hear he has quite the collection of rare and powerful artifacts. Okay, you both say the same thing. That's why you are you both next to each other. The conversation dies down when they see you approaching. What could they be talking about that's such a secret? Welcome, guests. May I interest you in a story of brave gentle bots and days long past? Yeah, I like the I like her party dress look. Uh, thanks, but I'm um, looking for a friend. I was about to say, wait, is that? What'll it be? <laughs> Seriously, why did we even bother getting you an invite? This place was super easy to sneak into. Anyway, have you picked up on any or picked up? On, I presume it's supposed to be any intel on Enzo. I noticed a few guests here are trading secrets about him, but they clam up as soon as anyone approaches. If only there was a way to eavesdrop on them without them noticing. Well, I'm sure you'll figure something out. he has got quite a fascination with weaponry of mystical nature. He's imported many special items from Nullup. I'd love to see Enzo's private collection, especially his ancient gunmancy relics. I'm not sure how much we should trust this Enzo. He's notorious around these parts for a good reason. Just promise me you'll watch your back, okay? So find a way to eavesdrop on people. Also, I'm curious just to find where all of our party members are in here. This woman may look big from the outside, but it's even... Oh, this mansion may look big from the outside, but it's even bigger inside. Built into the rock below, making for quite some floor space. And whatever else Enzo... Olenzo might be hiding down below. Welcome to the party. We gentle bots are here to provide an atmosphere of class and sophistication. Feel free to ask for my assistant for any assistance you may need. Oh, hey, there's October again. There's Cthulhu. The connoisseur invites his guests to look around. Just try not to break his office. That's a, or break, break into his office. That's off limits. Okay. I've heard that beneath the Casino Grande, there's a massive jail where the mob keeps their prisoners. A secret underground jail. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. It's a giant cybernetic bug in a hat. I like it. Okay, now that's it. Yeah, okay, that's the same conversation. I won't break from fixing Enzo's robots right now, so I could use some personal space, thanks. I've heard that Sir Enzo loves to make flashy surprise entrances to his own parties. I've heard that too, but no one's seen him in a while. He must be working on a special project. I've heard... No, it... Yeah, uh, I was invited because I'm one of Nuplup's top historians and cultural experts, but today I hope to study the enigma known as the Connoisseur. 
Okay, I'm guessing that central one is going to be the dude's office, so we'll leave that alone for the moment. And just welcome to the party. And there's a proper gentleman. He funds the local art galleries. He's the connoisseur. Such a night, uh, such a na uh, naivete. And so puts on quite the show, but it's just to keep his authorities off his back. The conversation dies down. Okay. And the conversation dies down. Enjoy the party, but stay out of Lord Enzo's office if you know what's good for you. I wonder if Enzo's, in Enzo's involved with the giant battle suit fiasco in Arano. Who else could fund that giant machine? You know, that would explain, and then suddenly he doesn't want to talk to us. Huh. Word has it that Enzo has been pitting Astrea against the API. He certainly has the means. Enzo is on nobody's side but his own. I love strolling about Enzo's estate. It's so beautiful. I just wish Enzo would open up his private collections more often. Okay, so this leads here. So it's the middle door, then. Yeah. Stupid robot getting its head blasted off for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. But... No! Oh! The robot is deactivated. I wonder why. Perhaps he saw something he shouldn't have. Can we do anything with it? it seems like it might be useful. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's go take a look at the patio again. I felt a draft while I was in the library, almost as if there was a nearby door I couldn't see. My sources are remembering about API interest in an asteroid skirting the reaches of Zavani. But why would an old asteroid interest the API? It makes no sense. My sources are... Sorenzo's mansion's rumored to be woven and woven with hidden doors, passages, and more. You won't find me tugging on lamp posters, pushing statues, and search of such things. Let secrets stay secret. Secret passages? Well, it is a big mansion. It's worth checking out. I heard that the API agent killed on Irinu is actually still alive. Can you believe it? But why would they say she's dead? What possible motive could there be? Maybe she's on a secret mission and they needed to drop or, or needed to drop off the grid. That must be it. Secret mission? How romantic! Yeah, romantic. And totally not a fugitive on the run. No, no. Why would you why would you say that? That is an oddly specific thing to say. I, I don't know why you would say that. I presume this is a library. It looks like a library. <laughs> I wonder, what happens if I move this candle? Why is it always a fake candle, Abra? The one who deciphers his office passcode will gain entrance to his secret collection. All I've gathered is that it ends, up, uh, that it ends with how old he is. I guess that he updates it every year. Actually, let me get the note. Let me also turn on a light because it's dark in here. I will be making notes that I can't see. All right. Ah. There we go. Okay. Where's my pen? There's my pen. never speaks it, but his full name is Dr. Enzordian Cast or Gastonius Formaldehyde. I'd be embarrassed, too. I mean, yeah, part of your name is Formaldehyde. That is, uh... That is pretty embarrassing. Okay, I can't do anything with that robot. So... Break for fix from fixing Enzo's robots right now, so I could use some personal space things. Okay, I didn't see what he did, but he gave me the gentle bot blueprints. I'm guessing 
use that on the busted gentle bot over there. And we'll be able to do something. You fix the gentle bot. That Mr. Enzo has a mean streak, I tell you. I walk in while he's opening a secret passage and he whacks off my head. He obviously doesn't appreciate a gentle bot's company, unlike you, my friend. Here, let me open that secret passage I saw him entering as thanks. And so I've gleaned that the passcode starts with Enzo's middle name. Ha! I need to go check the other side to remember what that was. Okay. Gastonius. Alright, so currently we know of two parts. It starts with Gastonius and ends with the dude's age. They call him an old man, but 231 years is years old is old even for an Olympian. So, to Gastonius 231. Alright. I do this where we talk about historical artifacts. Alright. Password should be Gastonius231. Let's see if that works. Oh, so it didn't even ask me to enter it. Okay, fine. I made notes for nothing. Great. Success. Let's see if we can if I can find Enzo and ask him what he knows about the Lumina device. Alright. An electronic keyboard, how quaint. Or is it or is there more here? Let's see, if I put some of this spy powder on the keys, aha! Just as suspected, it's a set sequence. Let's try playing it. And the elevator is now unlocked. Spy powder, when you need plot advancement, not sure how to deal with it. Whoop! Hey, Enzo, you said nobody would find us here. So I did. So I did. So I did. You and yet one should never estimate the resourcefulness of one Elisa Lasalle. You don't need to worry about her doing anything rash. You see, I have something she needs. The counter device. Do you have it? I do not. However, I know where it is. A skimmeric scientist by the name of Cybe came to me the other day, wanting to buy the Lumina device off of me. Said it was too dangerous for humans, and that he had devised a device that would counter its effects, but only on a one-on-one -on -one basis. His offer was far too low, so I sent him off. Guess he doesn't believe I don't have it though, since he or I guess he doesn't believe I don't have it though, since he keeps returning. Then Arate desired a meeting. I then knew she had the device, but now that it's the API's prime target, it's too dangerous to deal with. But since he was so kind as to deliver the device to me personally, I guess I have no choice but to take it. The API will want to kill you personally, so in the meantime, please enjoy the hospitality of the mob's private underground prison. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> Alyssa, I guess they got you too. Sorry, sorry that we failed. Don't get discouraged. We've been in a worse situation. Let's figure out a way to escape. I can help with that. <laughs> Finger guns, yeah. <laughs> I'm Clark. Yes, yes, I know you've heard of me. My exploits are legendary. Clark, who? The great dance party of 50 2048. De 20. Doesn't ring a bell. The robot dance revolution. Sorry. The triple somersault para para maneuver. Really, none of this rings a bell. You may be the smartest, the squarest group of squares I've ever met, but no matter. I'm just laying low here for a bit while the mob boss forgets about the advances I made on his daughter. But if you'd like to leave, I've got your, I've got our key. Door open. 
All you gotta do is make friends with the jail cell doors and they're happy to open for you. <laughs> Clark dances his way into your party. Oh. Alright. No menu because we don't have equipment. Cool. And looks like there's just security drones and all those. Cell doors unlocked. You got your stuff back. Well, most of it. The Lumina device is missing. They must have taken it out of my satchel. It can't have gone far. If we hurry, we might be able to get it back. Cool. Wait, what? Oh, hello. So let's take a look. What is what is uh Robo Man here got? Kick. Damage. Double style of attack defeats an enemy. Yeah. Self-destruct. Die. Damage to random target. Yeah, a lot of damage though. Chillax. Buff. More defense when using recharge abilities. Ooh, and it's for the whole party in last six turns. Nice. Jazz hands. Cure ailments. Bonus style of effective. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mortify. Boost party damage. Only effective while dead. Wait, what? Okay, I'm confused. What? Die. Heal party. Okay. Petty theft. Steals a few credits. Okay. Oil spill. Target is vulnerable to next fire or electric attack. Ooh. Oh. Get back here. Para para. Removes elemental resistances. Hmm. Okay. I mean, you guess they have weaknesses, so they'd have resistances. That that makes sense. Electrify. Increase in da increases in damage with each use per battle. Okay. Jitterbug. Brief burst of speed. Okay. Okay, I don't... This, this ability confuses me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Chillax could be useful. Yeah, I'll keep self-destruct around. I think there's actually an achievement with it, so we'll probably at least keep that around for the moment. Oh, and he doesn't have anything that is reusable. Petty theft, we have so much money it doesn't seem like it's going to be useful for much. Electrify. Uh, I'm going to do oil spill or para para. Let's do oil spill. He doesn't have anything there. Jazz hands, cure ailments. Yeah. Robo boots. Go go robo kick. Groove dance party. Increased style for everybody. Okay. Suave stash. Begin the battle with extra style. I wonder if they like came up with the idea for this character. Like, wait, we've got a mechanic called style. Let's just go all in on this. I I I'm curious about the creative process on that one. All right. So let's see. Nah, yeah, we'll keep that. Set her as a debuffer, maybe. Let me do Snake Strike. Charm. The microphone is stun. And attack against a small area. Cello Acta. Disable. Extra turn in hyper mode. Allies lose a hyper bar. Yeah. Buff speed up adds wind to attacks. Hmm, damage with a brief burst of speed. Could be useful. Burst inflicts curse, ignores resistance, and, and enemy type when style is maxed. Hmm, that could seem like it'd be useful. Yeah, stun, charm, disarm. Wait, no, it's burst. Okay, no, that's... So actually, you know what? I'll keep... 
Cutting winds there. Stab. <laughs> Stab there. And then, yeah, you don't have anything new there. All right. Eh, just fight these things. All right. Code deteriorated due to long imprisonment. All right. And yeah, they're all weak to water and electricity. Yeah, we don't really have a way to control aggro, so... But then again, they could still... Since it's an extra turn for him, could still serve to be useful. And then... Uh, I don't want to do disarm or vulnerable. Let's, for the moment, go with faint. Didn't do much damage. Cure elements. I don't got any elements. And I don't have anyone. I mean, given the character, I shouldn't be surprised, but the fact that his just basic battle stance is like, yeah, screw, baby. I, I, I should not be surprised. And I'm not, but I'm also just. I'm having too much fun here. Uh, increases damage. Oh, and it targets everything. Oh, okay, it hits a random target, okay. Let's see, so that's two turns. Three turns. See, poison's not gonna do much for much good. Uh, disarm. Charm. Yes! Alright. I'm absolutely certain you're disarmed. Nah, because we got one enemy charmed, so we don't want to do that. Fire electric attacks, though. Kick. Sure, why not? <laughs> it just hit itself. Very nice. All right. Passivism fist! Let's actually stick with Uppercut! So he just gets hyper turns whenever randomly. That's cool. Uh now what the hell? <laughs> Stylish! <laughs> Clark burst, allies gain style. Lauren burst, cures and regenerates party. Physical attack against a single target. Eh. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'll do a thing. I'll do a thing there. Yes, stunned and vulnerable. Let's bum rush him! Ha <laughs> ha 
fact, there's an achievement for just using the self-destruct ability. I, I don't know how to feel about that. Ah, uh, let's see. I want to aim for trying to stun this dude. Microphone! And then... Uh... Oh! I forgot about her song. The, uh... Oh, dang. Face punch. Wait, I thought that thing had 25 HP. How did not die? You know, whatever. Died. All right. And... Let's see what it recharged just in time for... Come on, big oh, okay, not her not his turn. You guard. Um water damage or you know, pass for them fist. Face punch. Damn eh, below the belt. Alrighty. Done. All right. Uh. Cool. Give him a turn to. Recover, or to recover his abilities, rather. And, you know what, let's see how this goes. I didn't look at Clark's, uh, victory animation. Damn it. I have been paying attention. Okay. Actually, I'm curious, since there's that, like, obvious secret passage is obvious, so clearly that's the route we should take, but, you know, what if we just, like, try to walk out through the front door? Oh. Oh, style and slashers. Yeah, increase their style. Why didn't I equip the Venom Blades? Yeah. Ooh. Well, these are a much better weapon anyway. That's cool. Alright. So there's those guys. Probably a unique fight there. I'm guessing that just leads to the other side of where that chest was, yeah. So, then I'm so it looks like that other uh, secret passage then just leads to a chest, which we want to get in on that. That's the way that items work, and, like there's no junk items, like items or equipment, they're all like useful long-term thing. You know, already thousand credits. I'm honestly, money isn't coming across that useful right now, so that's that's cool. Let's see what happens when we do this. Yep, okay, I was figuring fight would happen. Alright. So what are you? Galor 20XDR. Dead or alive? Doesn't care. Let's see, water and thunder. 68,000 ish points. Alright. And then, yeah. Opening slash. And then, let's see. Set up Sue for the counter. Cross counter. Eh, 
Uh, dance party, baby. All right. All right. Good. He's charmed. Charmed, I'm sure. All right. Right of target. Yeah. Don't want to ruin the charm on that dude for the moment, though. I want to get something out of that. Yes! Flex disarm, flex stun, poison, point attack to a small area. Actually, song! Pacifism fist! Will it work though? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. Alright, that's it. It's a random target, not at literally targeting everybody. I don't know there was a blood effect there. That was weird. Uh, let's see. Good, good. Let's actually heal you up, buddy. All right. Yeah, mage recharge around the ability. Man. There we go. All right. More defense when using recharge abilities. Die, heal the party. Now oh, what the hell? <laughs> All right. Stunned and vulnerable. Very nice. Let's take advantage of that vulnerable with an uppercut. I heal party. We're gonna have to do some recharging here. All right, and that's speaking of recharging. Heals everybody. Don't want to risk it. Good nah, let's. All righty. Hmm. Microphone. There we go. All right. Inspire Sue. And then you bum rush. Darn. I was hoping that would do more damage. Oh well. Uh, let's see. What a... Cut to finish. Console hack. The western gate has been opened. Not that it does much good since we can get through the uh, air ducts to go over there. Now that opens. Alright. I am not uh, like in. Like Clark, I, I, I like him as a character, but like in battle, I'm not feeling it. So what, a so what are a bunch of upstanding citizens such as yourself doing in a jail like this? 
Enzo wanted something of ours, and the Bob was only too happy to oblige him. Ah, till all this time. Rich man sees something at once. Poor person gets thrown in jail. Well, not this time. We'll get you out, and we'll get your stuff back. Or I'm not the Dance Master Clock. party here. Alright. So let's see. Uh, let me see. I might want to... Given the amount of things here that are water-based, I might actually want to switch out Alicia, Alicia to give her just multi-target water. Anyway, uh, as for you... Yeah, start with that. Delegate. It's not as important to set up the counter right now, I just I don't know what to do with her on her first turn. Especially with the hyper turn coming next. Alright. Good on ya, Clark. See if we can't charm this bad boy. Yes. All right. All right, let's see. That's why not have a dance party. that up. Then here we go, you take him out. Uppercut! Microphone. Pass for them first. All right. Execute something. Oh yeah. Electrifying dance moves, you know. Mm. I have no clue where I'm going with that. Uh, the disarm though, like the resistance that builds so quickly with the normal attacks doing it and inflicting it so often. Uh, Alright. Mm, maybe it's enough. Eh, yeah, still killed that one, okay. No vulnerable, there we go. We're gonna have some uh, defense up. Some defend turns here, like you. go. Probably got idea to defend. Faint. Defend to recharge the electric ability. Let's actually, though, empower Sue and see if the bum rush takes him out. Probably not, but as they get the damage it's been doing, that's not enough to kill it. 
Alright. Let's see if charm works. We're going to probably remove it in a second anyway. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Kind of figured that would happen, but oh well. Surprise stash. Next item used isn't consumed. Hmm. I don't use the items that much, though. Alright, let's see. Ah, okay, there's a secret passage over there, or a air duct, whatever. No, now's no time for Daring Vault Heist. Seems like the perfect time for Daring Vault Heist. I mean, we're already escaping from jail. So we got apparently, I'm guessing the giant yellow screens in that room are going to... Uh, did I miss a possible direction? Yeah, because that, yeah. Hmm. something I'm missing here? Doesn't seem to be a way forward. Oh wait, there, yes there is a thing I'm missing here. Alright, cool. Well, this is gonna be fun. Let's see, it's stun taser is quite effective. Oh, great, it'll be stunning us a lot. That's fine. Alrighty. Eh, pacifism test, sure, why not? Set up a counter. Alright. Electrify. The fuck was that? I my Alexa's freaking out. So I don't use it that much, so I'm not sure why I still have it plugged in. That's cool. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Uh, let's see, charm you. Do we get anything out of this? And then let's see. Hmm. Dance party! <laughs> <laughs> Just tried to stun itself. Great. That's cool. Alright. Oh. Oh, so you can do... Ooh. Oh, this is, we already have healing effect because of our uh, support member. That seems like a good option. Uh, well, that was basically doubling it when we did Oh, well. Not relevant. Um... Build up some more style first. Yeah, looks like it actually hit both of them. Nope, I was wrong on that one. Alright. Vulnerable. Chillax, my buddies. Keep you stunned for the moment. Stay back. Stay stunned. And then... Let's defend. Uppercut! No. Oh, that didn't do as much damage as I hoped it would. Enough to kill, enough to kill. Very nice. Alright. 
Combo. Oile. All right. Uh, I've already got disarm in place. Can't poison him. Uh. Yeah, she doesn't really have much in the way for damage. All right. Pacifism first! Only one way to win finish the fight in style. Unnecessary self-destruction. <laughs> spin, spin, spin. Oh, damage over a large area. Alright. That seems like it'll be useful. Yeah, cause that's... Oil spill paired with that, since it is electric damage. I mean, yeah, it's not a bad ability. Chillax. Jazz hands. Yeah, let's. Uh, spin, spin, spin. Yeah, that just burst of speed for two turns. He gets better, da or gets better speed. Console hack, laser barriers deactivated. Then come over here. Get a bunch of credits. Alright, that's fine. I think we'll go this way instead. It's probably gonna lead us to the exact same place, isn't it? No, oh, that's right. Item in here. A bushy stash. Regenerates HP based on his current style. Nifty. Style regeneration. Makes it more sound like more like he regenerates style. But I, I guess, you know, just health regeneration for style, that works. Alright, there's some beefy looking looking dudes down there. Actually, we'll keep a single target water. So yeah, Incarceratron, Galor, Warden Bot. Weakened escapees before beating him senseless. Water and like I said, it's all water and electricity. Alright. Uh, they're all super beefy dudes. Alright, well, let's start focusing damage one at a time. Uh them first! Set up for counters. Damage over a large area. Oh, so he can literally damage everybody. That could be useful. Let's shoot something. Yes. Stun. Vulnerable dis. Oh. 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 Okay. Was not expecting that. Methinks healing is going to be good. Uh, let's see. Alright, so this turn. Actually, not actually because our next turn not coming up, so we'll save that for the moment. Let's see, damage over a large area. Uh, actually, yeah. And that will hit everybody. in place. Eh. All right. All right. Maximize that party. A 
uppercut. We're gonna be seeing some heal turns here. Or some healing turns. Alright. Yeah. Probably should have done that before his hyper turn, but oh well. Yep, she's stunned. Alright. Healing up Sue, he's a little beat up there. Alright, how do we want to proceed on this? Now, let's see if we can charm him. I didn't expect that to work. Not complaining about the results, though. Actually, I will save that for. Spin me right round, baby. At the hyper speed. Alright. That should finish you off. Alright. Hmm. Quick stab. Now we'll hold off on that. For the moment, let's just. Do a couple feints. All right. How do we best take advantage of this hyper turn? And I guess the wind attack. All right. Pass for them fist. One is enemy that max HP reusable. Oh well, no, no. Let's cover. Boil him down. Power Sue. All right. Hmm. How do I want to do this? That's 
Let's see if we can get another stun off. Nope. Okay. Now then, given. I kind of want to do. And then. Double team. With hyper, and he's vulnerable. Oh! <laughs> and of course, get an achievement for ludicrous damage right there. Very nice. No new abilities. No new abilities. Plague. Infli inflicts poison on a group. Not useful here, but save quit. Next ability that would kill Clark doesn't. I can see that being useful if you're good at predicting enemy patterns. But it doesn't seem like there's much in the way of patterns. They just kind of act. Like, a lot of RPGs where you get the... Uh, like, enemy AI is largely randomized. Hi! <laughs> Warning prison break. Stop Alyssa Sale and her three friends on site. And her three friends? That's all the great clock merits? Hey, at least that means the bad guys won't be aiming at you so as much. Alright, cool. So, party wants to explore the casino. Then again, it's not random encounters or anything like that. Okay, so there's a dude down there with a the gun. Oh, okay. No more robots, eh? Plague. Okay, well, okay, so we were going the right direction anyway. Cool. Alright. Then she starts to turn, or turn on hyper. Okay, so one of them is a robot. You, Clark, you, you, the musical duo, get over here. Oh, okay, it's not all, it's a white area. It always cheats at <laughs> card sharp. Always cheats at cards, rarely caught. Bouncer. If the bouncer wants you out, you stay out. Okay. And then, yeah. All right. Oh. Let's see then. Pacifism first. Set up for the counter. Alright, well, glad that I did that. Alright, and let's go with that. You. Alright, let's see. How do I want to play this out? Oh, I was hoping to hit the bouncer too. Alrighty. There we go, poison you. Sue so seems to be getting targeted more. So we'll give him the heal. Dance party, everybody! That wasted what I was setting up. Thanks for that game. All right, charm. Yes. Defend. Heal a bit of HP to everybody. Uppercut.
Ready. And not worth it at this point. Oh! Yeah, but this is probably a good idea. Actually, no. We'll save that till someone has a hyper turn that I don't know what else to do with. Do a cover for the moment. Pacifism Fist! Well, that was a wasted Pacifism Fist. There we go. Alright. Spin me right round, baby. Uh-oh. Chug that healing. Then defend. That way she can hit that thing with another water attack on the next turn. And we'll flick vulnerable there. Okay, I don't know how I got something in my throat, but that was interesting. Alright, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's defend. Alright, and that vulnerable I set up. Although I don't remember if the vulnerable actually, got, actually went into effect, so. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, no, he isn't. Alright, fine. Bum rush the dude! Yes! Alright. Okay, looks like a cigar robot. Don't know how that's gonna fight, so let's see. Yep, card sharps. Chain smoker has a bad smoking habit that it wants to pass on. Uh, weak to ice. Yeah, weak to ice, water, and wind. But you guys are close enough. Will this go off on both of you? Nope. Okay. Alrighty. Pacifism first. Set up counter. Execute something. All right. Yeah, let's see if we can poison one of his teammates. That could be useful to us. Except we're going to ruin it now. No, that was great. Okay, fine. Oh, okay, it still does, it's not a, like a lot of games where the moment they're damaged, it, go, it stops going being in effect. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Spin me right round, baby! Awesome. All right. So then, let's use the pain song. Clark boy. All right. All right. You have the least amount of HP, so I'll set you up. Relax, baby. Cover or heal, rather, which recover heals the team. Yeah, I guess poison counts in the attacks that, like, triggers when vulnerable stops. Okay. Uh, the charge abilities. Oh, we still have a new dance party. It just occurred to me. You know what? The charge abilities. Uh, 
All right. There we go. And see, since Alyssa just... So yeah, we'll let her heal. And let you... Charm him. See what happens. Come to that. That didn't work great. Alright then. Heal up Sue so he doesn't die. Let's see. Eh. Okay, but seriously, leave Sue alone. Need to set up counter on the next turn. That's gonna kill. And actually, no. Kill the party a little bit. And have water ready for the next turn. Let's defend for the moment. Microphone. Water. There we go. All right. Got a little dicey there. Sue almost died a few times. The enemy just seemed to love that boy. I mean, considering I've set him up as a party tank, that that works in my favor, really. But you know. Aha! Luck shield. How lucky! So what's the Lux Shield do? Surprise stash. Free item use. Okay. RNG and it just does random damage. Okay. Eh. I don't know, how is it stat-wise compared to what he has? 87, 87, 100, 120. Eh, I might think about it. Ugh. Gentlemen bots. Uh, they, they fight? They do fight. Okay. Gentler bot. Or gentle robot. Not designed for combat at all. Eh, weak to water. Okay. So let's just get our opening salvo in. Pacifism fist. Set up the counter. Spin me right round, baby, right round. Charmed, I'm sure. Let's shoot something. Good. See, we'll empower Sue. But vulnerable. Get everyone to chillax. Kind of a waste of a hyper turn, but okay. Rally everyone up. Uh, bum rush. Actually, uh, bum rush. Let's see. Vulnerable plus hyper turn. Oh, yeah. Nope. Oh, still more casino to get through. It's a shame we don't have time to play a few hands. The, are these people locked you in? Locked you up, and you're trying to kill? Or 
lock you up and are trying to kill you and you want to give them money? Of course not. I'd be sure to win every round. The house cheats. So do I. <laughs> Oh shit, it's almost been three hours. Oh. Alright, cool. Chain smoker and bouncer. Alright. Um, let's see. Since you like to inflict poison, we'll take you out first. Is that hit enough to hit both? Nope, only the one, okay. Alright. Oh no, because we can't poison, so microphone. Charm you. See if you beat up your body. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's heal up soon. No. Yes. Alright. Let's see. Vulnerable. Oh yeah! Can't poison a robot. Uh, yeah, I think we have disarm. We got two characters that are poisoned. We'll set up for healing. All right. Yeah, uppercut. Spin me right round, baby. Stabby. Sorry, trying to make sure to figure that wouldn't work. All right. That's faint. Get him oily. Stun and vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable. Yes! Bum rush, baby.
laugh. Inflicts vulnerable on all enemies. Okay. A new abilities learned. That could be useful if abilities we wanted. But what do we give up for it? Faint is useful. Actually, face punch, yes. Place that with laugh. Alright. Actually, let's rearrange his abilities a bit here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's a good layout. Alright. Haha! This is the exit, so that's got to be big ball. I can't believe, I can't believe you let I let that. Uh, I can't believe you let that skimmer X bug Cybe steal that fancy device we stole from the API agent. Gee, boss, how are we supposed to know what he'd do? He said the device was too dangerous for us, and he set off a bomb and grabbed it in the confusion. Idiots! I'm surrounded by idiots. Dude, I can see you're busy, so if you don't mind, we'll just be going on our way now. And now we've got a jail we have a jailbreak. You're all getting docked a week's pay. Alright, so let's see what we got. Shakes down ch mobster. Shakes down children for their lunch money. Mob boss. A legitimate businessman. Sure he is. Oh hey, I think it's the first time we've uh, well I just through excluded. We've seen uh, five digit hell. Huh. Alright. There we go. Alright, and that's, yeah, no weaknesses. So, we'll leave the pacifism fist. Yeah, yeah, that works, okay. Leave the pacifism fist on the... <laughs> oh, it didn't work on anyone. Bother. Yeah, get this out of the way. This is going to be a long fight just because the number of dudes there are. Alright. Let's charm you. Pacifism fist! That is a l that was a lot of pacifism in their face, eh? Alright, let's counter. Or set up counter, rather. I might as well. The guys aren't super deadly, so I think we'll go with the damage song. Pain song. And we can always change over to the healing song if needed. Alright, let's see. Buff Sue. There goes what I was setting up for. Oh yeah, I have the pain song, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Alright. Microphoned! Stop stunning my people. Alright. Uppercut! There we go. Stylish! Oh yeah, we got we don't we're able to hit all three of them. All right, recharge. That way she can pacifism. So you can introduce some pacifism to do for a couple of dudes. Come on, bring it. <clears throat> Chillax. A little late to be doing it, but. Right. 
friend. Oh, wow, he's almost dead. Okay. So let's get some pacifism up in here. Alright. Let's see, in two turns he's going to have a hyper mode. Let's actually set up counter. You defend. There we go. Alright. Yes. Double team. Overkill to be certain, I'm sure. Yeah, not, as not as much as it was against that robot where we hit five digits of damage, but still. Oh, everybody's leveling up. Let's see, spy sense, party buff, increased cunning by 35%. Okay. No new abilities, no new abilities, no new abilities. Alright. Yes, we're finally out. But we failed to recover the Illumina device. That Saib who stole it sounds like a cool cat. Better him than those hooligans. That we the weird robot is right. If that Skimrix is a counter device, maybe he has good intentions. He's probably headed back to the Skimrix camp or their hive. To get to them, we'll need to go back to the Romu surface. There's a nasty swamp on the way, so the Simrix should get few visitors, but we should be fine. Sounds like a plan. Let's head back to the surface. Now that you've escaped the prison and casino, you can once again change your party members. Oh no, our beautiful casino! What happened? Did you do this? The Skimricks were heading towards the surface elevator. It's probably going to be going back to the Skimricks. Okay, yes, Sivy, he was hanging around before. Gentlebot detects danger. Just keep walking, just keep walking. Did you hear some commotion from him from up north? Enzo's not here. Buzz off. Alright, and she just welcomes us to the town still, ignoring the fact the casino just exploded. The casino's always drawn some tough folks and big fights, but nothing like this. Okay, I think there's someone I can recruit now that we've got the Dance King robot here.
Unique looking sprites. reading something that like there's somebody I could recruit after you get the robot in your party. I just I don't remember who or why or what. Actually wait, no I think I remember actually yeah. It's not here. So we have to go back to the surface. Don't forget to check your back or check back at your home base spaceship periodic. You never know what opportunities will open up. Las Rocas elevator access. So where does that go? Because apparently it's something in Las Rocas. Where is this at? Ah, okay, there, okay, that makes sense. And let's actually take that uh, science advice and go check back to the ship. And I think we're gonna call it a day. This is actually having three hours. I and mean, I'm having fun, but like I only planned to stream for two hours, you know? All right, well, it's been real, folks, but, uh, yeah, I've been at this for three hours, and I've, like I said, I'm having fun, but, you know, wasn't planning to be streaming for that long, so I'm going to stop now. See you guys Saturday. Later, folks.